Hi friends, welcome to Kiddo Kids. Okay, so today also is a new Sunday, the starting of a new week. I hope you all had a very nice weekend. Uh, many of uh, you who are having exams have to study for their exams. You know, mainly uh, many people are having their exams now. So I know you must be, uh, you know, most of you must be in the, you know, business chaos of all the exams, studying for, you know, studying. If there are many who will be studying the last minute, everything like that. So even if you, you know, you should take some breaks. You should, you should get some. You should find time for everything. So you know, you should take some break. You should take some time to call, you know, watch kiddo kids. Uh, you know, call to kiddo kids. You can play games. You can tell me what subject, you know, what exams are going on. Or if you don't have any exams, also then you're free. Then what you, you know. Know, what are you doing right now or uh, th many things like that so so that is uh, you know that is uh, you know related to our topic today our topic today is nothing uh, you know it is just exam preparation we all know exams are going on so i'm just giving you know my part uh, to you know some tips to you to uh, understand how can you prepare for the exam in future coming exams maybe you didn't uh, you know finish uh, your portions this time and you went to write the exam and you you're not very sure about your marks so to overcome all that risks you know all that tension and all i will be giving you some tips and you know the first tip the first tip is actually something everybody knows the first basic thing is give yourself enough time to study because if you don't have enough time to study, you won't be able to complete the portions, and you will be, you know, you'll be leaving a lot behind. So th that's the main thing. Don't keep it to the last moment. I, you know, I know many people who, you know, actually like to mug up everything. They don't understand the concept. Also, in the last moment, they'll start, you know, mugging up all the things. They'll start by hearting it. But uh, you know, it would be much better if you just read the topic, if you understood the subject, and then you, you know. The, uh, you understood the concept, then you went to write the exam. That would also be, be ready, uh, you know, very nice if you did that. Then also there are, you know, uh, many tips uh, like uh, give yourself enough time to study itself in the studying. It comes in the studying process. So in this method only we have many tips. So I told you, don't start cramming up all the things in your mind. Then you won't understand anything because you know many things at one time. You know, too many cooks, you know, ruin the soup. So uh, just like the spoil the broth, too many cooks spoil the broth. So just like that, if many, you know, if you learn so many things in one day, it's in so many subjects in one day, you won't understand anything. So mainly, you should give your, uh, you know, yourself time to study. And uh, you know, by talking that, uh, by talking about that, we had uh, you know many children come in late for the exams also. So that can also be a problem. But uh, maybe it's not your fault. Pe uh, children were coming by their parents also. Here we have buses, but buses also are being very very late nowadays. You know, uh, many uh, uh, most uh, because I, I, I actually I don't know about this, but I have seen you know so, um, the traffic jam. So there can be school buses in the middle also. So this uh, this traffic jam uh, because of the traffic the buses also reach late and it'll be, uh, you know you, you won't get the time to study so things like that so and don't you know over prepare yourself that is don't get uh, so confident or don't be confident but not overconfident because if you're overconfident then you'll think you you know you know everything you won't prepare in the last moment and try not to prepare in the last moment also like just five minutes before the exam try to calm down close your eyes sit down and think about what all you thought instead of keep on again trying to study and get something inside your head because it's not going to work so try to you know uh, just summarize the points in your mind close your eyes and summarize the points five minutes you might you know most you might see all your friends uh, you know starting just five minutes teacher will say two more minutes to revise they need to keep your bag outside you know most children they'll take their books they'll think they can get you know they'll get the first you know their full marks and you know, they, they think they'll get just by learning the last moment nothing is going to happen because just that two minutes it doesn't count you should uh, you know we should make enough st uh, time to study and study before beforehand itself we know the exams are coming the dates are given before early so we should start studying in the time we have so just like that you know now in the studying concept itself when you're studying you should one thing one main thing you have to do is organize your study area that is wherever you're sitting and study organize it 
make sure that it has plenty of air coming in, plenty of light, natural light, uh, you know, or if you uh, sit outside also there will be a lot of noises. So try to sit inside with a lot of light and try to keep also people away from you. Because when another person is also studying near you, you won't feel like studying, you might talk to them and you might get distracted. So just like that, keep away all distractions, uh, you keep away your video games, all things out of your uh, sight itself, uh, you know, uh, uh, try to close the door so no sounds from the TV is near you and also don't you know, think of eating food or something like that. So try to not get distracted and make your area really nice, uh, make it in a corner where nobody is, uh, you know, nobody goes there so much, uh, so much time, so things like that. Uh, and also, you know, if you, uh, uh, when you are studying, whenever, uh, whenever we see things, we study more, we understand things more when we see things. Instead of, when, uh, you know, we understand uh, more things when you are seeing a presentation, than reading books. So, the same thing when you are, uh, you know, making, uh, when you are planning to study, try to do one thing that is, make flow charts and diagrams related to that. Uh, suppose you are starting a chapter, so related to the chapter, make flow charts, diagrams, do everything you can and try to get the, you know, try to know what all you know and what you have to, uh, you know, work upon. So make flow charts before the chapter, you start the chapter, uh, make a flow chart on, or diagram on every, everything, you know, points also is enough, make everything that you about, uh, you know, about the chapter you know about. So then you can uh, you know check the textbook you can learn and then you can uh, you know fill in the gaps that you don't know. So think uh, you know things like this also will help you a lot during examinations and examinations also be really you know be really prepared for the examination that is have everything you need uh, you know know where your examination hall is have everything you need pencil pen don't wait in there to share things with others you know because maybe they uh, the, uh, you know it can be called as malpracticing also. So try to keep everything with you, keep a bottle of water also near you because uh, every time maybe you might uh, you know forget, you, your mind might go you know totally blank and to you know uh, take you are doing the examination maybe your, that answer is totally gone from your mind, drink some water and then you know just think about it. Maybe you will get some some and uh, you know some some uh, parts of the answer and write what all you know. That is the best thing is that write what all you know, do not leave anything blank attempt every question, write everything you know, otherwise uh, also the teacher won't be able to you know mark anywhere, but you try to you know maintain uh, you know write everything, attempt all the questions and also maintain neatness in your answer paper or question paper, try to maintain neatness so the teacher or the invigilator, anybody who is correcting your paper will understand what you are writing, otherwise they might uh, you know give negative marking also for that. So try to be neat in your work and uh, you know even uh, in the uh, and also be well disciplined in the examination hall because you should take it seriously and uh, you should not uh, just like a library you should be really quiet there instead of reading books you are just writing you are writing an examination. So be really 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 quiet there and do not uh, you know make any uh, you know do not do any sort of like that stuff. So that is uh, one uh, thing actually. The, I told you a visual aid is always better than you know a reading one. You will understand more than the uh, you know usual. The next thing is uh, practice on old exams. That is one of the things that I like to do where I will take the you know I will take uh, question papers from my you know maybe from my friends who are bigger than me one year bigger than me I will take question papers from them I will take question maybe from my brother my cousins everywhere I will take question papers from different different areas because they will all be having different formats then I will understand how this format is going how the question papers format is going to be how you know how what is the you know uh, the type of questions they are going to ask is it very tough is it very easy so like that you know you will get a basic understanding of the question paper and the also it will be a revision after you study all the subjects you can revise on that uh, question papers you can do a revision a quick revision on it. So that is also a good thing and um, you know you will get to know you can ask those people the doubts also if these are challenging questions most uh, maybe these questions can come repeated also because these questions are very challenging the same thing can come in the next paper also. 
so be ready for anything that you go about to face and don't get you know don't get tensed during examination don't get tensed if you get tensed you will forget everything don't you know uh, look at everybody don't uh, you know just ignore everybody try to maintain look at your paper and write so uh, you know then you will be able to remember everything that you learned about the topic and if you you know you can also if you have some doubts related to the question not the answer uh, if you have some doubts related to the question then uh, you know feel free to ask questions to the invigilator not related to the answer but to the questions if you didn't understand how to frame the answer ask the invigilator she will be happy to help you that is why an invigilator is standing there so ask uh, and uh, and by the way invigilator means the person who is you know attending or ex not attending actually t uh, you know looking after you during the examination uh, checking if you uh, you know giving you the answer sheets uh, do, giving you the question paper just like a teacher so they will be standing there and ask, feel free to ask them questions if you have uh, doubts and also you know every time uh, you are, uh, most of you will get answer sheets uh, you know when you go to bigger grades uh, you know bigger grades you will get answer sheets and these answer sheets must be you know try to always uh, number them properly the page numbers uh, don't because you should not get confused in the end try to put the numbers on all the pages so you don't uh, you know lose your mark anywhere mark means like uh, not uh, the, uh, physical, the literal mark but okay you don't lose where maybe you don't you don't know the answer for this question leave that question go to the next question try to finish the whole thing then come back to the question if you have time so that's what you have to do if you don't know a question don't sit a long time waiting you know thinking about that question only then oh, your time will be totally gone and you won't be able to write the rest of the exam so when i'm talking about time uh, the next thing that comes up to is time management during the exams if it is a two hours and a two and a half hours examination don't you know wait uh, don't wait for two and a half uh, for two hours and 45 minutes don't think the teacher will give you an extra time so uh, don't think like that and sit try to finish all the sections really easily say uh, they might be uh, you know three or four sections so try uh, you know uh, and one thing is the teachers will understand if you name the questions properly so if you want you can start from the last section the toughest one also with the hot question as a higher order thinking skills question you can start from there then you can go to the easy ones so because if you take more time in that and if you do all this and you lose time then if you can't do that you know, so many mar uh, many marks will be lost so that is also one thing you can do and now before i go into more uh, things uh, you know trip tips uh, of examination let's go for a short rhyme <laughs>